Okay, guys, so let's jump back into our uh, 3D model of our base character mesh again. Um, one thing I was going to show actually, but I didn't in the first video, um, was um, just kind of the kind of low poly style that you can get from, um, well, from, from a low poly style, I suppose. Uh, these guys, Sinti, um, they do really, really good stuff in, in low poly and get some really, really cool results. Um, so you can see the kind of idea where you just have this base mesh okay and what they've done is the the clothing the accessories and everything the the very simple kind of face uh is adjusted per character so you can make so many different things from this one kind of base mesh model that you create and that's kind of the idea that we're uh going with with this um base model that we're doing here okay um so anyway let's crack on ours well, well ours is just proportionally maybe a bit different to that but regardless it's the same type of thing so where were we we're just coming down towards the uh getting towards the legs so um let's keep going i'm going to go back and continue to extrude down let's go there just before where the legs start and again, it's just this, this, the whole kind of way through really is much the same. You're just kind of extruding, adding in detail where you need it and uh, lining things up to the reference image. Okay, so definitely think we're gonna need a couple of uh, extra connections here. And you know, don't be afraid to kind of go off the reference image slightly if you feel that the reference image doesn't quite work. Okay. Cool. Definitely need to round this this uh this old area off a bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, as I said before, the, a lot of this video is just going to be me kind of uh, tweaking the model a bit. And that's going to be largely what you guys are doing too, really. Okay, I'll say that'll do for now. And again, you, you get this issue where you, um, because they're, we're extruding at a slight angle, um, so it's not too much of an issue because with a symmetry modifier where you've got that overlap, it will just weld everything together. Um, so as long as it's just slightly overlapping a bit, it doesn't matter too much. Great, okay. So we come to the legs now. So let's do an extrusion. And we just want to obviously make sure they are actually separated because we don't know, no longer need that to be connected down the middle with the, the legs, obviously. Um, let's do our Alt X to make it transparent. And again, we're starting the process of lining things up. We can do what sometimes I do is literally just extrude a bit there and just move that all the way down to the bottom and then just start doing your edges um, here. And just moving it to where some of the key areas are. It's obviously got the knees. Going to need a bit of detail in where the knees are. And then we can just start lining things up. Gonna need something there, I think. 
Come back to that in a minute. So this is one of those things where at this point, if you think, okay, I, I get it, I get the idea, I get the process, I don't need to sit and watch you do the whole thing. You could just be at this point, just give it a go. Give it a go for yourself. You don't have to watch me do it and do it, you know, click by click the way that I do it. It's up to you. Um, yeah, I was here where I needed some more, wasn't it? Okay, so then we want to go to this side, and obviously that looks completely mental right now. So <laughs> let's make this uh, this view larger. The reference image is a bit weird there. A little bit missing, I think. difficult because it gets to a point where it's so far off that um, what's going on with that I just need to hide this a minute so I can see the reference image fully yeah I think we're okay This starts to get a bit small in this area, so. Okay. So that's okay, but I know for sure that when I go then to my perspective view, that this is gonna be a bit weird. Okay, yeah, there's a bit kind of flat. Um, so I'm gonna hide those reference images now. So I can just come into my perspective view and start rounding these legs out a bit. They're a bit weird right now. <laughs> Some of this has gotten a bit punched up. So yeah, it's just going to be a case of clicking and dragging. I think the inside of the leg there is going to be a bit weird because there's no edges to work with there. So I think what we're going to have to do is get right up through here. And do a connection there. Get that rounded off. Again, as I said, I, I don't want these videos to be too excessively long, so I'm just trying to do this as quickly as I can. But unfortunately, it's just a process that takes a long time. So again, yours will hopefully look better than mine. Okay, what well, can also do at the bottom here because it gets a bit mangled by the time you get down to the bottom. See, it's all, all over the place basically. What I can do is I can get the polygons which are already selected at the bottom. Uh, and you can see there's this option that says make planar. And then the different sort of axis you can make it planar. Planar basically means it's going to be flat. So that's going to be Y, I believe. So if I click Y, okay, it just makes that completely dead flat. Um, and then what you can do is try and with, with the, the 
bottom the bit's going to connect into the foot try and make it sort of a round circle -ish, circle ish shape as best you can something like that so that's ready to connect into the foot okay i mean it isn't perfect by any means I need my reference image back a bit here. This area is looking a bit on the large side. <laughs> Let's pull this in a bit. Okay. Cool. I mean, it's what it is. It's to the reference as best we can. Okay, so that's going to be um, the legs, and let's do the feet as well as part of this video, shall we? So let's go down to where we were for the feet, and let's do zoom into the feet area. Okay, so ready to extrude. Let's go down to there, and then let's just go right down to the bottom like we did before. Okay. And then this time, rather than just kind of cutting in edges and moving them, I think we're going to need to extrude forwards. Um, do we need all four of those? Possibly. Let's do that. All the way out to the end. Okay, and then this is the bit that we're going to be cutting into. Uh, we can. Yeah, let's do this bit now. So connection. Let's chuck in a few connections there. And then let's just start maneuvering these around. I can see how ridiculous that looks currently in the um, perspective view. I think the feet in this one, if you're going for realism, the feet in this particular reference image are not, not the realist looking. Okay, so again, we've got our uh, reference images lined up so we can come back to our perspective view and then to see what's going on. Obviously, our vertices are a little bit all over the place. We need to evening out a little bit. And Probably rounding off. It's one of them as well. Um, unless you want your character to have bare feet, you don't really need to worry about things like toes. I feel like we need a, a, a ring around there, another connection. I well, don't need all that, just one connection that way. And you can see I'm just trying to round it off. It doesn't look quite so odd. I mean, the shape of these feet are a bit odd anyway. Something like that. Okay. 
again spend as much time on it as you want um, but obviously as a, as a kind of a base mesh um, we would be changing those up anyway depending on the the footwear that we wanted um, this character to have but that's fine again let's hide our planes so far and see how the character is looking it's looking character-ish I'm not happy with this area Kind of looks a bit weird as well. Yeah, a little bit alienish. But uh, as I say, to get this perfect, it's probably going to take a lot of tweaking, but. We get it there. You get the idea, and the point that I need to get across is the idea of and, and the uh, the process. But um, yeah, we're getting there with that. So I think again, we'll we'll pause that there for now, and then all we really need to do now is get those uh, the arms in, and then just sort of finalize it, and we've then got ourselves a base mesh to work with. Okay, so that'll do uh, for now.